folks. While the rest of the world's trying to work out what the bloody hell's going on, I've been trying to work out how to control these weeds. And I think I've worked that out. We've got ourselves an old turf cutter. It's as old as the hills, but it works a treat. Now, these garden beds are infested. You swap my big malacca there. There's only a few left. There's a handful. They're ripening. We'll be harvesting the seeds for you. But for now, I want to show you how we're going to convert this garden bed into something a bit more proactive, productive, which is ha it has been, but with less weed. <laughs> you got to love parsley. Don't worry, we make lots of tabbouleh here too. But we've been trenching this out. So we started off there. You can see we got rid of the top layer of grass. We can actually share that and pass it on into another part of our garden because this is beautiful cooch. Then we trenched another layer down below here. Now this is the separation between my garden bed. I'm hoping between cooch, kaikuyu, buffalo and my garden bed. There is a lot of weed in here but at least we got 99% of it out. So what we're doing now is putting a bit of an edge in. We're going to put another edge in lower so we stop the soil from falling away. But for now this is the edge, right? We got that in. Now this is the prep work that I'm doing. What I've done is got rid of all the weeds, got rid of all the soil. Now this is the area here, have a look at that. That's what it is, it's nice and hard. I'm not gonna dig it over because we're gonna build it up at least 200 mil, four, four inches, eight inches, sorry. I'm leaving the old silver bead in there so we can collect the seed from that. First, we're putting down some pea straw as a bottom dress before we put our compost and manure on top of that. So first layer, pea straw. Next, we're going to put our chicken manure. So you can go sparingly with this. Chicken manure is always quite rich. This is egg, but you've got to be careful with it anyway. So I'm putting a bag of chicken manure in about four or five square meters. You can put two bags, but one's enough for me because I've been feeding this garden bit already. So. so once you've done that, you've got to put your black grit on top. You've got to bless it with black grit. And after the black grit, you put your soil on top of that. Now I've got some composted soil in because our soil is very acidic and very sandy at the same time. So this is the blend I got in from our local garden supplies. I've got the feeling it's going to be aquaphobic or hydrophobic. So that's why I'm putting the bamboo, sorry, the pea straw underneath there. And this is what I've done on top. So the pea straw is underneath this. Now what we do on top of that is basically put our pea straw again on top of that, but irrigated in between. You can see what I've done there. I've just laid some irrigation. I've still got my big malakas having to ripen and now a nice top dress of pea straw and this will compact down over time now you can choose your favorite mulch some people prefer sugar cane lucerne garden straw i kind of like the pea straw i'm enjoying it at the moment so it works for me and i get some free peas so this garden bed is going to get mulch like that we've got some stepping stones in between and we've got about 20 meters or 25 meters to do an actual fact and this is one garden bed. We've made it twice as wide. We're going to do that far garden bed as well to the right there, which is basically inundated with weeds as, as well. We may do the little one over here, but we're also going to do the other side there, which is basically where the eucalyptus trees are. So when you're preparing your garden bed, folks, if you've never done it before, turn your soil over, put some mulch, straw at the base, put your manure into it, your black grit, and then fresh compost on top if you can, and some more straw on top of that and irrigation in between. And don't forget your liquid gold and eco boost, and I guarantee your plants are going to love you. Marisi.